All right, today I'm going to be taking off the uh, timing belt and the water pump on this uh, 2000 uh, PT Cruiser. Um, it uh, has a bad water pump on it. I need to replace it. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and let you see underneath here. Uh, first thing you're going to do is uh, discharge your uh, AC because you're going to have to remove um, remove this uh, swing arm here, torque arm, and um, get behind this cover here. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a very fun job, but I'm sure we'll get it done. Um, I'm going to replace everything uh, while I'm doing it. So uh, let's get started. Okay, uh, here's where I'm at now. I've went ahead and removed the air compressor lines after I've uh, relieved the pressure from it. Down there is where the junction block goes to into. Um, the uh, lines are tied out of the place and out of the way and in place. Um, this is that uh, bracket that I was telling you about that uh, connects the um, um, condenser and the evaporator. These bolts went through, where are they at? Down through here. And they are a six millimeter. I thought I'll focus. Six millimeter. And these long screws that uh, went all the way back through the back here, right there, are what were these? A 30. A Starhead. Alright, um, here is the uh, cruise control bracket removed. Four 10 millimeter bolts and a 10 millimeter bolt that holds on the uh, ground strap. There's the plug-in, there's the vacuum control, there's the uh, air con uh, the um, cruise control system, and it mounted up right there. All right, now I have the car jacked up. Um, got the side of uh, the passenger side tire off. I am now going to remove the uh, uh, serpentine belt that goes on there. I got to uh, loosen up the uh, alternator uh, belt up inside there. I'm going to take this uh, whole front um, uh, mount off here and also uh, the uh, power steering pump as well because that is connected to that bracket that's going to need to come up and um, slide out of the way or possibly even out of here uh, to get that uh, cover out. I'm going to need to um, prop the motor up with a uh, jack and I believe I'll also need to remove this lower um, engine <coughs> uh, torque arm. So, project's moving along. Just go step by step. Okay, now I have uh, removed the bolts that go to the back of the um, power steering pump. I'm making a video now of how the uh, belt goes through. I've already got it loosened up. Goes up through here. Let's see, it starts with the crank, goes over to the uh, AC, and then up to the uh, power steering. And then uh, back underneath the uh, um, idler pulley, and then uh, back around the uh, crank. All right, let's get the uh, power steering completely removed and uh, get this belt off here and see where we're at. I'm going to have to take that bolt off right here and remove the harmonic balancer and um, uh, I, the uh, pulley and also remove the um, remove the uh, alternator, uh, not remove the alternator, but at least move it out of the way and then get this thing set up on jack stand. So let's see where we're at on the uh, next step. Okay, I have uh, the um, power steering pump removed and I have the alternator down here 
uh, removed, not necessarily removed, but just moved out of the way so I can uh, get in there. And remove that bolt yet still. Put it on jack stand, a uh, uh, jack, and uh, remove this torque arm here and the uh, one up top. Oh man! All right, up oh, again, and this one. So we'll get that done, and then that should give me access to this uh, front cover, and then uh, we'll go from there and. Uh, get that uh, power steering pump removed. It's moving right along. Hopefully I can have this thing completely disassembled in one day. I'm not sure if I'm going to order all the parts online or if I'll just get them all local. So, next. Alright, have the harmonic balancer finally off of here. I had to rent this, uh, or actually buy the tool. It's one of the AutoZone um, Lona tool things to get this uh, harmonic balancer off there. Um, this, uh, what you do, you take this here and um, put it inside the uh, <clears throat> where the um, crankshaft is, uh, the hole that goes through there, and then you put this end in here like that. After after this is on, and then uh, thread it in there, hook it around these. Fresh take on Italian. Like that. Something like that. And then just take this. Like that. Put all that put that all the way through there and uh, start torquing down on it. Um, helps to have an impact or somebody to uh, hold the um, uh, engine so it won't turn over. Or if you've got it a stick, you can just put it in gear and uh, just chalk one of the wheels or whatever. But I got mine off there. Uh, See where everything's at right now. That's off there, as you can see. Um, getting ready to uh, remove this cover here and uh, take this mount finally off. Got the front uh, cover off on the very top. I uh, still got to remove this bracket down through here and get it out of the way. All right, next step. That uh, piece cost me about $80 right here, but you get all your money back when you return it. Now, something I forgot to mention is that uh, this actually bottomed out all the way up against here when I was threading it in there, and it wouldn't let me uh, pull the uh, harmonic balancer back any more off. Um, what you can do, you can just put a uh, quarter on the end of that. It's going to take a little bit of uh, tricky uh, uh, maneuvering and everything to do, but what I did, I just uh, ground off the metal um, little tab for a uh, harmonic um, balancer wheel puller, steering wheel puller uh, that I've already had in stock. So that's what I used and everything and then just used the shorter one um, and then butted it up against there kind of like that. You'll see once you get inside there what I'm talking about. Um, but like I said you could use just a, a quarter but I didn't. Alright because I used that. Okay I have the engine mount off here as it was sitting there. I took this uh, torque arm bracket off there as well. There's the uh, bottom cover for it, some bolts that went through it. Um, this here I was able to use just a uh, regular Allen head instead of the star head and it fit in there and was able to remove that. Um, let's see what's underneath here right now. There's the uh, cam permit thing. There we go. There you can see the uh, timing chain in there. I went ahead and got a little bit of white paint uh, or whatever you have available and uh, marked these little notches straight across. Once that's um, uh, set at top dead center down there at the bottom, you can just thread the uh, crankshaft bolt on there and uh, keep turning it around um, clockwise until uh, it reaches top dead center. These cam um, sprockets will say up on them, just as a uh, reference guide too. I don't know if you can see that up there. Yeah, there's that one, and there's that one. And then I also put the uh, uh, mark there to uh, align the timing. So now I'm going to take off the um, idler pulley and the uh, tensioner, and then take the belt off there, and then I'll have to take these sprockets off of there, and uh, then uh, take that backing plate off so I can get to the water pump. Like I said, it's not going to be an easy job, but we are getting it done. It's almost off there now. All right, I have the uh, idler pulley um, off for the uh, timing chain, 
and the um, tensioner also. That is a T50. Make sure it's a 50. A 45 will not work. You'll need to get a 50 onto that uh, star head bit in there to get that thing off there. What a pain in the ass that was. Um, that's a 10 millimeter right down there. Um, and here's where we are on the engine. Getting closer. Gotta still take off that. Um, still gotta take off the uh, backing plate and those uh, sprockets. Yeah. All right. Here is how I am removing this cam sprocket right here. I just put a come along or a, a tie strap in there and um, tightened it down to where it won't move. Um, hooked it around the. Um, <coughs> um, air conditioner bracket and uh, it did not move and was able to get enough torque in there to keep it from moving and um, uh, got all, got it off there so uh, we're going to take that off there and then take the next one off there uh, using the same method hopefully it will work with the next one okay everything's off there have the water pump off down there and down there everything's off got the cam sprockets off here's all the parts over here Cam sprockets, I marked them left and right. The uh, water pump right there, the uh, engine mount there, the covers right there, the um, idler pulleys right here, tensioner is right there, and all the bolts and everything else. Ain't that right, Peppy? Aw, <laughs> there's a great Dane China. All right, well, everything's off there. Next step is to put everything back on and. Uh, Boy, there was a lot of tricks. Hopefully I can get everything back on there and all the bolts put on uh, without a whole lot of issue. Um, but I can hang it's always a job, but we'll get it done.